Hey guys, Toxic Flames here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the R4 3DS upgrade from your original R4. And this is going to be allowing you to play DS ROMs or DS games on your 3DS system. So it's a pretty simple process. I'm just going to walk you through it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a computer, and um, you're going to want to go to the website at the bottom of any R4i or i4i 3DS, you're going to want to go to the website located at the bottom. So I'm already at the website up here. Um, you're basically going to want to search around the website. So as you can see right here, this is like the download page. You're just going to want to find the download page. And once you found the download page, just look for, I guess, the picture. So if you come down here, I'm just going to show you what's inside the box really quick. So it comes with a micro SD to US to USB adapter but I think this is really bad so I don't recommend using that like I couldn't even fit my micro SD card in and I feel as if it's gonna break my SD card so I don't recommend using that so um this is what's in the box um, kinda looks you know kinda looks pretty poor quality the stickers like not even in the middle but um, I guess you pay what you get for you get for what you pay I don't, I don't know so this looks quite similar this one, dual core, um, this one kind of looks like what I have, but it says RTS Lite. So you're gonna want to look like you're gonna want to look for the same picture. So just go to download, and it's gonna open up a new page. And then you're not gonna want to look for the upgrade firmware area right here. It's gonna I don't know. It's gonna tell you something about how you don't need it. But what you're gonna want to look for is the kernel download area. So you just want to download your newest kernel. I'm obviously gonna download it in English. So I'm gonna click English. And that's that's easy, you know. It's just gonna start downloading. Uh, I already have it downloaded, but so I'm just gonna go into the downloads and open it up, so you guys don't have to wait for that to download. So this is what you're gonna be getting. You are gonna need WinRAR for this. Um, if you know, if you don't have WinRAR already, just go on Google and type in how to get WinRAR for free quite easy but um so after you open up the file obviously um this is gonna this is what's gonna be inside uh, a few of these so if you come back down here you're gonna want to use a micro sd to usb or you're just gonna want to get some way to transfer the data from your micro sd into your computer vice versa so i'm just gonna plug this in here and plug it into my computer so it's just you just gotta wait for that to load up obviously my computer is kind of really bad so it might take a while okay um, open the files so basically I already have um, all of the files as you can see all of these files I've already transferred them so you're just gonna want to drag and drop it so as you can see just drag it or actually just throw that off to the side drag the file or highlight the files drag them and drop them onto your micro SD it's going to do some extracting and then it's going to want to copy them. I already have them, but it shouldn't give you any error message when you're trying to do this. So I'm just going to cancel that. And the next thing you're going to want to do is get games. So there's a lot of websites for games. I will leave the link in the description for a few of the websites for games. But um, after you get your game, just drag it and drop it inside of the um, 3D, 3, or the micro SD card. So you might be wondering why I have a Nintendo 3DS um folder here and a DCIM so this is basically I'm using the same micro SD card for my 3DS so you don't need to worry about those files you don't need these two files I just have them in there and the one game I'm gonna be showing for you guys is Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story so you're just gonna wanna make sure that it has the dot NDS for Nintendo DS when you're um, when you're gonna be um, putting the files on your micro SD card so after you have all these files you can basically put as many games as you want that will be held on your micro SD card so don't hold back just go ham on all those games that your mom and dad didn't let you buy when you were a child so just um, take it take the USB out of the computer and get the micro SD obviously and the R4 you're just gonna wanna turn it around pretty self-explanatory and then there's a little picture here and then you stick it inside kinda kinda obvious but yeah so I'm just gonna be using a 3DS obviously you guys want to see that done so obviously you're gonna to want to put it in the back open it up 
turn it on and this is moment of truth guys you know you want to make sure that your thing is actually working so it's gonna come up as something random um, every update it's prob you know if you update your system you're gonna want to update your the kernel so you do you go to the same download page but um, yeah I'm just gonna open this up for now it's some Bomberman but it's gonna be different at all times this will also work for the 3ds XL if you guys are wondering I'm just using the stock 3ds for now and yeah you go into the game and then this is what's gonna happen it's gonna have a game it's gonna have, I don't know some sword kind of thing lightsaber and we got multimedia and configure so I'm not gonna touch with these two things because this three this R4 kind of seems really sketchy and I don't want to ruin it but um yeah as you just go to the games tab and then basically it's gonna pre-install moonshell for you but that's something else if you want to like run media and videos it's not really very important and this is the game that we got so we're gonna test off test it out and see if it works so you obviously just gonna click a to open it up and then it's gonna load it's so it's telling me it's creating a save file very nice doing a little it's giving you a little load bar and so now it's loading at the top the bottom screen went blank okay now the top screen went blank and the bottom screen is telling me it's loading okay please wait do not turn off the power or remove the game card um, I don't even have a card I guess that's just what it's gonna tell you so you got the game loading up full game for free, very nice. Um, so, yeah, that's the full game, guys. I guess it's kind of, I don't know. You guys probably don't want to watch me watch this. Watch me play this game. So I'm just going to show you real quick that the game will work on DS's. So I have some DS's here. I don't want to use that one. It's probably out of battery. So I'm just going to turn this on. This is a regular DS, obviously. DS Lite, the regular startup screen. And it's going to say Bomberman. Same same thing as last time. Go, it's gonna load up. It's it's working. Go to games. Sit for same game, except it's gonna it doesn't have to create no save files this time. So it's just gonna load up very fast. And yeah, you got basically got the full game. Thank you for watching. Um, I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase these. And I got mine for about like twenty bucks or something or fifteen dollars, really cheap. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Um, hope you subscribe to this video because I'm about to break my DS. And yeah.